I'm Peter Taylor. I'm going to demonstrate how to use willow charcoal. Not compressed charcoal, this is the very, very fine breakable stuff with little sticks of it. That's with an eraser and tissue to explore tones and no outlines. Now, this should help achieve a powerful sculptural form in your drawings. So, I'll be working from a photograph of a portrait of Sir Osbert Sitwell from 1922 by sculptor Frank Dobson. He was very influenced by bronzes and carvings from various parts of Africa. Now, because we work almost in reverse with charcoal, the first thing I'm going to do is to use the side, just the side, of the willow charcoal to form a grey ground and then I'm going to use the tissue to smear it. Next, and still using only the side of the charcoal, this is a theme by the way, I'm going to look for the darkest areas. I'm not drawing an outline but perhaps I'm looking at where the darkest shadows are which might involve the outline. And the outline by the way can be pretty rough at this stage. You'll see why later. OK, what you've seen there is dark patches, areas where I'm going to need a base of darkness, because the next thing is to start using either my finger or the tissue to start smearing some lighter areas. So taking away a little of that darkness here and there, just to give myself an indication needed to put some more darkness in there. Next I'm going to use an eraser. Now by the way you don't necessarily need a fancy putty rubber. I use just a plastic eraser and a knife to cut away sharp corners. They work really well. I'm starting to remove little areas of light beginning to get the three tones. So I'm beginning to use slightly finer marks now. I might begin to use the very point of my charcoal just for slightly more detailed areas. But the great thing about charcoal is that you can completely rework something if you go wrong. Right, now rather than using just the edge of the charcoal to start drawing in a little bit more detail, I'm also going to use the pointy corners of the rubber. OK. I can begin to start playing with very fine detail in the last parts of the drawing, just bringing in tiny edges, little parts of lines, Highlights are especially effective at this stage. Reworking them because they grey down as we work into the drawing. Now you can carve rubbers into extraordinary shapes. I actually bought this children's rubber years ago in a stationer's in Wales on holiday and it's just fantastic. Enjoying some of these textures on Frank Dobson's sculpture of Sir Osbert Sitwell. It's in bronze, made in 1922, and there are some quite nice opportunities with charcoal to get a little bit of final texture going on as well. I'm just using the rubber here, the eraser, and it just plays perhaps with a bit more detail. Okay, just some final touches. We'll leave it there. I think it could probably do with a tiny bit more work. An artist is never done, or at least they should know when they're done. And um, it's a great technique for doing any sculpture because it shows that lovely three-dimensional form in the three, four or 20 tones that you want to conjure up.